They do call bull riding the most dangerous sport on earth, but bull riding can prepare you for so many things in life. Courage, respect, discipline. My dad was a bull rider and uh, I rode bulls. And now to see my son do it, it makes me really proud. So you kind of got that internal battle of, shoot, my kid's only 16 years old and I'm letting him risk his life because every time it's life or death. I want to prove to myself that I can be the best. That would be your rite of passage, really, is just becoming competitive and moving up through the bull riding ranks into the pros. I always feel at home when I come back to the arena. Uh, family property where I grew up. I grew up riding bulls up on the hill. We had a practice arena up there. My dad owns the property now. And my grandpa built this place so that the kids would have somewhere to come back and uh, practice and have an opportunity to ride bulls. So. I'm Bo Vasu and I'm 16 years old and I'm a bull rider. My Indian name is Little Warrior. It comes from my great, great grandpa. I'm Northern Cheyenne and Oglala Sioux. They're the Great Plains Indians when you hear the Battle of the Little Bighorn where they killed Custer, that's the two tribes I'm from. I'm proud to come from a family of bull riders because it's just like carrying a legacy. I'll get on fuzzy first. Yeah. This weekend, we'd like to see him be the tour champion in the junior bull riding. He's number one in the juniors, but a win in the open, he can move up to number one in the open. And uh, for a 16 year old to be doing that, it's amazing. Well, I'm pretty much ready. <laughs> Running some bulls. It'd be big if I won this rodeo because it moved me up in the standings. I'd be leading the INFR. It's something you grew up watching, you see people win it, and you just think, I want to be him one day. I want to win that. That would be your rite of passage, really, is moving up through the bull riding ranks into the pros. This one's just going around the loop twice. Them Navajos do that. Load up. Load up. Are you sleeping? My dad always says the person who rides the most wins the most. You gotta be ready. Every time. So that's pretty much what I've based it off of. There's a person who rides the most, wins the most. <coughs> Get your mind right now. This weekend, when we get to our event in Oklahoma, the bulls will be a little buckier, but he'll be tuned in from practicing tonight, so we're excited to get down there. Yeah, today is just getting tuned up before we have to go down to Oklahoma, get on some buckier bulls. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Yes, now. Yeah, really Let's go. Ride now, ball. Ride, ball. Ride, ball. Ride, ball. Hustle. 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 Hey. Staying healthy is always a challenge. Last year, I broke my hip, and then I went to the INFR and I rebroke it. But you guys just got to keep going. I believe Bo Tyler's going to be a world champion. He's got the drive and he's athletic and he has learned from, listen to good um, instructors and people helping him. I think he's gonna be world champion many times. Proud of him.
I want to prove to myself that I can be the best. It's preparing myself for that next step because as soon as I turn 18, it'll be built for tough, which is the top bull riders in the world. So preparing myself to get there because I want to be the best, nothing else. We're going on about 20 some events and here he is still in the top four, you know, and he's been number one. And tonight he can be number one again. After a win tonight, he can move up to number one. The Indian Rodeo is a little different. You see a lot of the people here travel with their families. We all look out for each other's children and we all support each other. So everybody here knows everybody. And we each hit the same rodeos. It ties back to our Native American culture. We were very nomadic. We'd move, we'd follow the buffalo, we'd have a big hunt or a big battle, and then we celebrate and then we move on. <laughs> It, it's scary for now being a parent. A bull can, can end your life instantly. Every time, it's life or death. But as a, as a bull rider, that's a, the furthest thing from your mind. And, and it has to be because you, you gotta go into any battle, whether it's any sport or anything positive. And you know it's there. You, you always know it's there, but, but, but it's, it's, you put it away. My name is Scott Hill. I'm a basic PMT for Extreme Sports Medics. Been with them for about six, seven years. I've seen broken, broken tip fib, broken legs, uh, broken arms. I've watched people get knocked out on them. Uh, watched they get gored, stepped on. I consider bull riding to be one of the most dangerous sports in the world. You're going to get hurt. It's not a question of. If you're going to get hurt, it's when you're going to get hurt. I say a quick prayer before I get on just to watch over me and keep me safe, but this is the most dangerous sport on earth. I mean, it's always going to be there that you might die this one, but you just got to put that in the back of your mind like you're not going to. You're just going to you're going to ride this bull and just get out of there. You just don't think about it. When you get on a bull, it's, it's life or death every time. I mean, you could go out there and make the best ride you ever did or else it could be your last. I mean, you don't want to think about it, but if a bull runs in and you're already doubting yourself on what he's going to do, then that bull's already beat you in your head. Jump for jump, Bo Tyler. You just do what you do. Just like practice, you can be like that black bull. Just like at home, you hear me? No big moves. He comes around, you're strong enough, you can get back over there. You just keep your feet in him, stay squared up. When you get on top of that bull, it's, a, it's like having a mental checklist in your head about what you have to do in the shoot, just in the shoot alone. Make sure your rope's where you want it to be. Make sure everything's strapped up. If you wear a helmet, uh, you want everything to be right on there because you can mess up your face pretty easy. Just making sure everything's ready, like you know it's ready so you don't have to worry about anything else except for what the bull's gonna do and how you're gonna match his moves. Keep that tall. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, if he attacks me, what about those other It's not a big goal.
How are you feeling? A little sore. It ain't too bad though. Yeah. Should be alright for next weekend. Oh yeah, that's good. That's always the best part. What I do wrong on him? Much. He just he was pretty bucky. Really bailed out there, and he just had to get around there a little more. Yeah. When he takes that jump out there and hits hard. You gotta really reach out, reach back out there, man. But he was he was all that, you know. Those are the kind of bulls you be getting on when you when you move up into the PBRs and stuff. So. You'll be ready for him. Well, I didn't quite do what I came here to do, but just happy I was able to spend this opportunity with my family and uh, travel all these different places. And that's what it's all about. I think any time Boteller walks out of the arena healthy and whole, uh, it's a good day. And uh, I know at the, uh, the end of the road, he's gonna accomplish a lot. Um, rodeo is your dream. Go after it. It's it's out there, and if you want it bad enough, you're the you're the one that can accomplish your dreams. And after I'm gone, I hope my kids, my grandkids, keep having rodeos and pass it on. <laughs>